Let's talk about spiritual bypassing and this way that you can get clear on if that is happening to you or if it's not. And if it is, how you can make little tweaks in your Twin Flame journey. I'm Brianne, Master Certified Ascension Coach with Twin Flames Universe. And first I'm going to share a not so proud moment from my own experience when I first had my awakening to the Twin Flame journey and how that ties in with, I guess, you know, how I was spiritually by uh, bypassing with myself. And when I first woke up to the journey and first realized that I had a twin flame, very new to all of it, I was as asleep as you could get. And so it was a whole new world for me. I wasn't even that familiar with spirituality. And when I had my awakening, I did my Google research, I watched videos on YouTube, I did everything that I could to figure out how to manifest this love into my life. I met my twin flame person, we're experiencing the runner chaser dynamic, now where do I go from here? And I found a lot of information on YouTube, some of it helpful, some of it not so helpful, but I had to try those things out for myself. And some not so proud moments that I had, which I'm sure in some way, you know, it was my process of healing and I'm sure that it served me in its own way. But there were times when I would, you know, and this is like the year prior to actually realizing that I had to do the inner work. But I went to a store and I bought what it had like um, the word truth on it. I, and they had like different candles and they had different words on the candles. Like one was love, one was truth. I think some others said different things, but I thought you know, I'm going to go home, I'm going to light these candles, I'm going to meditate, and then my twin flame is eventually going to express their truth, express their undying love for me. And I did these things, you know, looking back now, I, I giggle at it because it's okay that I was doing those things. That was my healing process, but I wasn't quite getting it, okay? And then once I realized that that wasn't actually working. It wasn't actually creating the results that I desired. I moved in to try something new. Okay. And how does this tie in with spiritual bypassing? Well, there's something that I sometimes witness with, you know, I've witnessed it with myself and I heal it within myself and also with other twin flames that I see in communities, on YouTube, things, things of that nature. And that being that we're all one with the truth, right? You know, logically that you are a divine being that you were created with your twin flame and you were meant to be with your twin flame that's the desire that you have in your heart and that's why you're watching this video you're navigating your journey and i just as much as i know that i'm a divine being and i deserve all of my good everything that was created for me and is meant to be with me and the, the problem here is, although that's logic and that is our divine truth, sometimes there's this energy in the consciousness or this, um, these thoughts or these beliefs that all you have to do is keep reaffirming that, kind of like I was doing with the candle, right? Like, my twin flame's going to speak their truth. My twin flame's going to speak their truth. They're going to confess their love for me, you know, and this works to a degree, but it doesn't really get to the core root of the issue and the, the core root of the issue is that's complete separation from your twin flame and it feels really really bad which is a mirror reflection of the separation that you're experiencing within yourself and that we're all healing and what you want to be careful not to do is telling yourself well i'm divine i'm worthy of love i'm already with my twin flame in truth this reality is just an illusion that is correct you're right in that but there are parts, because our, our consciousness is, is vast, there are many, many, many different components of our consciousness. And although you, sitting here watching this video, you know, yeah, logically, you deserve to be with your twin flame and that you're going to be with them. Because your reality is not experiencing that, that's indicating there are parts of your consciousness that don't believe that, right? So you can sit there and... We can tell ourselves all day long, well, um, you know, I'm, I'm worthy of my twin flame union or I'm, I'm worthy of my, my wealth and my abundance or I'm 
worthy of living the life that I desire. And yes, but you got to go deeper than that. You got to look at those parts of you that don't believe that. And that is where the separation is festering. That's where the energy is stagnant and stuck. Okay, so letting go of spiritual bypassing and acknowledging, you know, applying the mirror exercise, doing the, the shadow work, as some people call it, really choosing to go deep within yourself and identifying where you know you're divine, but where you're not experiencing that as your truth, like, it, like you feel bad there. You know, for example, this morning I was moving through um, some like self-criticism with, with myself and, you know, that was a place where I was talking bad to myself about myself. And so although I knew logically that's not um, not my truth, that I'm loving, I'm, I'm a loving being, but that part of my consciousness was experiencing something different. I was experiencing separation. I was experiencing um, negative thought patterns and beliefs. And so the way that I resolved that was I looked at it and I felt it. It felt really bad. And I, you know, loved myself there. I'm like, okay, what does this part of me need? Well, she needed love and attention and forgiveness. I had to forgive myself for believing something that was out of alignment with my truth. And when I love myself, and when I say love yourself, it's a choice that you make. This is a place where sometimes people get stuck. They're like, well, how do you love yourself? You choose it. I choose to love myself unconditionally and you can automatically feel the energy shift in your being. And if you don't feel it, well, give it some time. You will feel it. It's a process that you have to continue loving yourself through. Okay. So if you find in your spiritual practices and your spiritual work that you resonate with this, this kind of like spiritual bypassing, you, you logically know the truth of your oneness with your twin flame and your togetherness. But if you're holding that and you're not really looking beneath the surface at why the experience is still that of separation, well, then that's spiritual bypassing. That's not acknowledging that there's something deeper that needs to be addressed. And apply the mirror exercise to that. Journal your thoughts and your feelings. And this, um, one of the eight keys to harmonious twin flame union is honesty. But where does that honesty start? It starts with you first. Just like this morning, I had to be completely honest with myself that I was criticizing myself, felt bad. I could have just been like, well, I'm not going to feel that. I I I'm divine, I you know, and it, it, like ignore it, but it would perpetuate. It would continue to fester. It wouldn't fully resolve the, the issue, right? And so separation from myself. So don't be afraid to go there. Be completely honest with what you're feeling and know that if you go there, you're not stuck there. You're actually moving the energy. You're moving it when you look at it and you're bringing in union. And as you love these components of your consciousness that are not experiencing union, you love yourself, thus experience union, that multiplies. And then what's going to happen in your reality? Well, your union, your twin flame union your togetherness. All right. So juicy video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.